So on our way back, I guess it started when we got back from our trip out west, our trailer brake controller, which is this guy. It adjusts the amount of brakes that the trailer's applying on my truck. It started acting up. Um, I've been kind of ignoring it, hoping it was gonna go away because it just kind of started. It didn't. So I've realized I got a problem. I gotta figure out what to do to fix it. So I got online and I priced out a new one. This little box is $400 for my truck. That's a lot more than I'd like to spend on my truck right now because it's a 2006. She's got some miles on her, but she's mine. So we're gonna take care of her. So anyway, start looking around and I got on the actual the YouTube and uh, I found a guy who repaired his box. Apparently it's a frequent problem. I don't know really what's going on inside of it. So what I'm gonna do is take it apart and see if I have any loose wires. He had a loose wire in his. He was able to resolder it and it fixed the problem. So save myself a couple hundred bucks. So we'll see. It's isn't really a tutorial. This is a, let's hope it works. So we're gonna try taking it apart. Got a bunch of really tiny little screws on there. So whenever I'm working with something this tiny, I wanna put it so my screws don't go anywhere. So I found a cutting board in the kitchen. Hopefully Monica doesn't get too mad. And it seems to work quite well. So what I'm looking for, I'm no electronic expert, but I'm hoping to find a screw or one of these heads that needs some soldering on it. The fellas that I saw was this one right here. Now we're getting into a realm where I'm out of my league, but it's already broke. So guys, the same pen that he was talking about, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there is a crack. When I pull against it, it's cracked. So let me try putting some solder, some heat on it. Yeah. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So here's definitely a broken connection. This is the same pen that the fellow, and I, we'll have to find the video and give him credit for it because he talked about this. He found that this isn't anything I did, but I got my solder and iron heating up. We're going to try to put a little heat on there, see if I can make that connection tight again, and then maybe we save some money. Maybe we set our truck on fire. I, I don't know, guys. I'm no expert on this, but I'm, I'm just tired of paying to fix my truck. I'm getting sick of it, so <laughs> please don't say that I told y'all to do this. This is no certain fix. 
we're gonna give it a shot. Need a little heat. I got a flat iron. I can get heat. It's just got to build it up there. There we go. All right, it looks like I got a good connection there. Just checking the other ones. We'll try putting it together, see what happens. Guys, if you're familiar, it's a 6.0 Ford F250 Power Stroke Diesel. So that means I've put at least one of my kids, or one of my mechanics kids through college. Probably two. Um, joys of owning the truck right but to be honest it pulled us to and from out west without skipping a beat At least we found something, you know, if we took it apart and didn't see anything, I don't think I'd feel as confident. I didn't put it back together upside down. So let's go plug it back in in the truck and give it a shot. All right, so plugging it back in. How many times are we taking this thing in and out of here? All right, so let's fire it up and see if it's sending the alarm. Hey, that sun is bright. What's it It says track trailer, but it doesn't say fault. I'm hitting my switches because every time I would hit those, it would give me that fault sign. The trailer brake controller light out. Every time I touch anything around here, I'd do that. All right. So, looked it up on YouTube. I found a guy called The Cattle King. He put out the video that showed me what to do. Um, so, props to you, bud. We gave it a shot. We will drive it around here in a little bit and let you know what's going on. Uh, I'm scared to say it, but... Let's just drive it down the driveway. Right? We'll just drive. Yeah, let's drive. All right, so we took it for a test drive. It, we came out of our neighborhood and it always makes a sound going over the bumps coming out of the neighborhood. When we hit the auxiliary switches, it would hear it, <coughs> excuse me, 
It would make it sound showing the fault in the trailer brake controller. Guys, I think we fixed our problem here. So, if you got a 05, 06, 07 Ford F234 and 550, and you're having problems with your trailer brake controller, open it up, take a look at it, and check your pins and see if you have any loose ones. If you do, maybe try putting some heat and some solder on it. It might fix it for you. It might not. We knew that, we, you know, going into it, we were going to have to buy a new one. Thought, if we fix it, that's awesome. If we don't, we're still having to buy a new one so we don't lose anything. But I think we just saved ourselves like three, four hundred bucks. So, we're good. We're going to keep rolling with it. Guys, thank you all for watching. Thanks for tuning in to the new adventure. Um, helpful hint for you. Who knows what we'll get into next week. So, um, we'll see you. Have a good one.